G'day, this is Captain Ubin. This is a bloodied broadside with plus 10% damage whilst aiming and VATS criticals filling 15% faster. It has been a while, my old nemesis, but you're finally back on the channel, and the question is, have you improved all that much? I'll guess we'll find out pretty soon. So the legendary effects here are actually pretty decent for a broadsider, as far as that goes. Um, so you've got the bloodied, so lots of damage, plus 10% more damage whilst aiming, obviously synergizes with bloodied very well, that 10% can be taken to a lot higher than what a 10% could be at full health with a non-bloodied variant, so yay, damage, that's pretty good, right? And VATS criticals filling faster means we can get more shots on it in VATS, and more of those shots will be criticals rather in VATS, so, you know, that's pretty good. 281 base damage, which, you know, it's, it's not nothing, the numbers are certainly showing you a good thing, but in practice, does this thing still work out we'll find out now going over the build here as you can tell there's none of this uh heavy gunner nonsense in here because it literally does nothing see this is one of those uh launcher heavy weapons so it launches a cannonball you see and basically that means that it doesn't get the boosting of um the uh, heavy gunner perks which was weird because back in fallout 4 it didn't it was it was a really good weapon in fallout 4 but it's just well, it's it's quite different these days. We're going at this with my new build. I'm going to crash, so that's fine. But we've got Demo Expert, and we've all got Bloody Mess, and hang on, I'll sh <laughs> be right back. So yes, we'll put Demo Expert on. That's some good damage because it's firing an explosive projectile, in inverted commas, and Bloody Mess to boost the damage even more. 15% more multiplicative damage is always nice. One gun army for the cripples. We've also got... A basher over here to potentially cripple our target. So, you know, if we're getting close and personal, um, it might be a problem for us. But we've got a bunch of perks that might help us out with that. Lock and load to get this thing reloaded quicker. We've got bullet shield to increase our resistance uh, whilst we're firing for what it is. We've got pain train there to stagger enemies even more at close range. Blocker, if they hit us with a hammer, will do less damage. Action girl synergizes with dodgy to reduce 30% of our incoming damage so long as we've got enough AP to actually defend against that, and Adrenaline is good for damage too, Escape Artist is always there. Fireproof might help us out against the explosion that this thing creates and makes that do less damage, synergize as well with my Power Armor, which I'll be wearing, which has the uh, Emergency Protocols on it, 50% damage uh, negation from that off the top, and I've also got Grenadier, so the explosion will have a higher radius, yeah, and Concentrated Fire for Vats too. Okay, jumped into power armor, doing 509 damage. Let's improve it. Ahoy, me hearties. Here I am. Yo, this is your captain speaking, and we're sailing the seven seas and out. Flying Dutchman. See, we've got a jetpack and it flies. And there yet to be a foul smell on the wind, and a dreadful fog around. Mateys, it looks like we're about to fight the crack. <laughs> it's the kraken, all right? That's the joke. Anyways, um... Oh, yeah, uh, 1,579 damage. It talks the talk, so, uh, can it walk the walk? No. No, it can't. Well, we're committed to this now. We have to do this. Okay, so attacking from that range didn't help. So, uh, let's go back here. Attack from long range. No. No. And no. We seem to be not doing too well against the Kraken here. What we could probably try to do is cripple the legs. Yes, we'll stop that moving. Okay, that one's crippled. Oh, oh, okay, you can still move when your legs are being crippled. I object to that. You were nowhere bloody near me. What about point-blank range? Let's see how this works. Oh, what? Did I fire two men? What? Okay. Well, this really isn't working. What if I were to use VATS? Let's target the torso. That's generally an easy place to hit. Now, I'm not the best at counting, but I'm thinking that was more than three that I shot out of this thing. And when I do reload it, I've got one in the magazine. What? Okay. You feeling all right, Broadsider? That was a four banger that time. The good news is, we're almost done with the Kraken. We'll be sending him to Davy Jones' locker pretty soon. Just, uh... 
pretty soon, meaning probably next Tuesday. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, yeah, repair those cannons first, mate, Winter. Just punch him first. Okay, we're doing, like, seven, seven, seven damage punching. And we might even get the occasional stagger with that. Versus... Well... Five damage. Five damage hit- we, we punch harder than this. How did they get this so wrong? This is cruelty. This is an unusually painful death for the her hermit crab as I'm pelting rocks at him. And he's dying. And look, if I hit the- if I hit his little shell, which is a van, which is kinda cool. But let's not ask questions of where this guy come from. Maine's a long way from here. You must be feeling a little bit homesick. So, like a lot of the weapons in this game... Wow, okay. Someone didn't skip everything that's outside of the shell day. And you also dropped me a, a plasma... A gatling. The gatling plasma. Well, well, that was eye-opening. It doesn't look like it's improved at all. We'll skip the green skins for today, we'll, we'll give them a rest. Let's uh, go ahead and find some ghouls instead and gather up a large following. And uh, see how this thing does when we can bounce the splash damage all around. Also, that was totally a, a pain train hit there. I stopped sprinting game. Alright, at least with the uh, strangler heart power armor we can monitor about how many ghouls are following us because they all walk inside the burning radius and they all make that angry I've been hit noise. I wonder how they recorded that. Do they record them with like a just a dude? Just some crazy guy with a microphone? Did a feral ghoul actually show up and was not feral enough to give his lines? Oh, there's a wendigo. That's nice. I'll be needing screws. Now if you just uh, let me through a little bit so I can choke point you here. Okay, so it looks like you can fire this thing and it's it's kind of bugged. Oh wow, that damage! Although it <laughs> it looks like I'm doing like eight damage. That's all we're seeing out of the thing. But you know, it'd be nice to see what kind of damage is getting through. You know, that was also four again. But looks like we can do well here. It's just that. I don't know. It just it's just a weird splash damage thing that no, that ah, she blows again. We're going to be going through these goddamn repair kits like you wouldn't believe. No, you're a baby Wendigo. You're no longer scary. Oh, you can kill yourself with it despite of being impotent against everything else. Yep, standard. Time for a little bit of revenge after I grab whatever I drop to a blood bug proboscis. Yeah, totally worth it. Quite honestly, I might just be better off more consistently damaging them using the bash damage, which I seem to get two of? Really? Uh, well, I didn't. I only got one that time, but probably all that I needed. Okay, so I get double bash damage. So basically, the meta is possibly bloodied bash damage broadsider. <laughs> with the basher perk. Honestly, that might actually be the best way of running this thing. Okay, we're done here. There's some legendaries, but I kind of don't care. Okay, so here we are at Max Farm. We're usually down there, but now we're here. It was uh, two bottle caps cheaper to fast travel here when we get broadly the same enemies. Okay, so apparently he only had 15 hit points. He only had six. We must believe everything that we see in this game. There's no way that this game would lie to you like its creators. And here I could go into a you know big long-winded rant about how this game is being handled and blah blah blah, but you don't want to hear it again. You just want to hear me talk shit about how bad the broadsider is. I'll be honest there, it's actually... It impressed me about just then because the uh, glowing Mylurk Kings aren't nothing, so yeah. It just seems to struggle with all of the super oversized enemies, like, I don't know, maybe it's like a hitbox thing? The rest of the, like, you can shoot super mutants in the leg, they're big lads, but they'll go down. Um, these Mylurks are kinda big. I don't think we'll get the Queen, by the way. Ooh, there she is. 
It might be hitboxes because she's got pretty wide legs and I managed to get a hit marker on that. I'm seeing a, a big number coming out of there. I just don't think I'm actually seeing any of the damage out of it. It's like a big swing no dinger armor here. Wouldn't want to touch that with no dinger, that's for sure. There we go. <laughs> well, we killed it. It was certainly a lot easier to kill that than uh, a hermit crab. Don't know what's going on here. So, is it rather, is it just all of this ballistic damage, it just comes out in the form of explosive damage, which, you know, might make the Scorch Beasts completely immune to it, and maybe the, maybe the, the Hermit Crabs have that too. I'm not really sure, and I don't care enough to look into it. I'm actually thinking that the thousand damage this is doing, like 1500, I'm gonna say that only like possibly 10, 20 of that is actually ballistic damage from the projectile hitting them hitting the target itself, because you, you see how low the damage is when I actually get the shots on target. Like, 15 damage? Yeah, that's, uh, that's not adding up, and whatever explosive damage that I'm getting out of this is, uh, it's unlisted, which is interesting. So, yeah, so this thing's been broken for a very long time. It's It's been like this since release, and... Bethesda haven't worked on it. It's been talked about, complained about, mostly by me, to the end of the earth. But yeah, so far no movement has been made to change this thing or how it works or how it would actually behave. It's just a real shame because it's just little things like that that you'll find in the game. It adds up over time. Oh, apparently those hit and did a ton of damage. I, look, I'm gonna give myself a brain aneurysm trying to work this shit out because, and it really pains me to say this, it doesn't just work. It just, it doesn't just work at all. So, we've found the, uh, the preferred tactic here, and ironically, it's uh, when the Scorch Beast is uh, not landed in. We've got to make sure we whiff the shot, but then it comes back anyway, somehow. And that means we're going to have to have AP, so all of this dodgy nonsense, we're going to forego that because we need all of the AP possible, and if someone's draining it away from shooting me, well, that's also bad. Well, the torso's crippled of nothing else. Maybe I should go hard or go home. Let's go for the head. Well, that instantly crippled it. I'm not sure which projectile actually hit it. Tell you what, if we manage to take this guy down, we'll hit him with the of the old fisticuffs. Oh, he's also legendary too. Shit. I did get a troubleshooter's Gatling laser before, so, you know, that that disinterest was well warranted, mind you. Unfortunately, we didn't get too many good shots there, but yeah, for um, some reason, the Scorch Beasts for the longest time have had this weird explosive resistance about them. I don't mind it, to be honest, because it makes all of those kids running around with explosive damage just completely terrible in Scorched Earth. And it's also encouraging them to aim a little bit more. We're just going to play it cool, are we? Man, it's really tempting to switch over to that. Alright, get this thing loaded, would ya? So you'd expect a little bit more damage to come out of this from direct hits. But maybe I should go for something in vats. This is how we're doing this now. You know what? I give up. You win, Scorch Beast. You can keep your fucking fissure sight, your, your hole in the ground, and you can take this with you. You can cram that where the sun don't shine. You can have it. In fact, you should use that against me. It'll be effective against me, but sure as hell's not good for you. The lesson here is that if you ever have a, a ship with, like, cannons, like, like a big pirate ship cannons, don't fight bats with it. You probably won't go too well. And that's my video. Thank you for watching, guys. Good job, Scorch Beast. You have defeated me.